Before we get into actually writing out our Angular components, I want to do one quick thing. And this is not a step that's required, but you're probably going to want to do something like this in your applications to give it a good look and feel. And this is adding Bootstrap to our project. It's really easy to do, and we're going to walk through this quickly, and then the rest of our time building out our components, we can use Bootstrap in all of our HTML and CSS files. So the first thing we need to do is jump into the front end project and we just need to run npm install dash dash save so we save it locally and we're going to say bootstrap and this is going to go ahead and install this for this project. And it looks like we're good to go. So it's installed. If we jump up to node modules and kind of jump down through here we should see bootstrap and inside of bootstrap you'll see a distribution folder inside of there you'll see a css and then you'll see a bootstrap css and a bootstrap.min.css so that's really what we're interested for in because there's one more quick step we've installed it locally but we haven't really told angular yet that we want to use it. So if we jump into our angular-cli.json, we have this styles array here, and I just want to reference that. So we're going to go node modules bootstrap, and that was in the dist CSS folder, bootstrap.min.css. So as long as there's no space Spelling mistakes, this, 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 I think we should be good to go. So that's all there is to get Bootstrap installed. And with that, we can start building out our components and we will do that in the next lesson.